What's up everyone? So today I kind of want to talk about what 2019 was like for me and like how I had to deal with changing majors and realizing the career that I set out for myself wasn't for me. And just knowing that my passions have changed. Uh -oh. Back again. You played a back. I had to do it. Patty, I see you too. This what y'all been wanting. What they waiting for. Bag it up. Last year was one of the like hardest years of my life. Which it kinda like sucks in the sense that that was when I wanted I had started Yuzu. And I don't know if, if y'all know this already or not. Some of you are really new, so you may not know, but like I started YouTube and I did about a good five videos before I stopped. And it's crazy because like, it wasn't that like I didn't like it. It wasn't that I wasn't doing good. Everything was going great. Everything was running smooth YouTube wise. Life hit me with a buzz. Okay, a buzz. And I was just dealing with like, I was taking all these, like, extremely hard courses and it was so time-consuming. And also, I didn't enjoy it. Coming into college, I was studying aerospace, aerospace engineering. And I, I love airplanes. I thought that was so cool. And I always wanted to be an engineer. So it was just like, bada-bing, bada-boom, aerospace engineer. And I think that it could have worked out if I was in a different point in my life or I was doing things differently. I became unmotivated and I was- Failing all my courses, like all of them. And I was trying to do YouTube and it's like, my professors expected so much out of me. And- I was working two jobs. And it just like, I, I literally came home one day. I was like, mom. I hate to say it, but like, I don't think engineering is for me. Like, I don't think this path is for me. Like, I'm not happy anymore. And I want to say this to y'all, when you're in college, you should one, like the school that you're at, and two, you should enjoy your overall major. Because if you don't, it will only make college harder and it'll be a waste of money. So it's just like, when you feel like you're not happy where you're at, I mean, obviously we have bad semester things at the time, but overall, like if you take a step back and look at the big picture and you're not liking where things are going, get out as soon as possible because why waste more money and you're not happy college is not like high school you have a choice to be happy about where things are headed with high school it don't matter if you're happy or not you still gotta take this course you still gotta do this you still gotta do that like it doesn't matter it's required but high uh college is not like that you should be happy with where things are going you should be passionate about what you're doing and with that being said college is not for everyone Maybe you didn't hear me. But college is not for everyone. And I feel like they don't teach you that in school and it really sucks because like the 13 years of your life, you think that like, oh, everything you're doing is preparing you for college. Oh, you're getting like set to go to college, but not everyone's meant for college and that does not make you less. That does not make you better. That does not make you anything that makes you human. If anything, like, but college is not for everybody. We have trading schools. We have the military. We have entrepreneurs. Like, it's so many options out there. Apprenticeship. Um, you have, like, uh, culinary schools. You cosmetology. You have, like, certificate programs. Like, you don't have to go to college. There's a bunch of 18-month uh, programs that you can sign up for and be a certified something and do that for the rest of your life and that's fine like you can be a security guard you can do this like it's so many things that you don't need college for but they act like if you don't go to college you're not successful you're not educated you're not this you're not that but college is not for everyone i just have to go off on, it, on that tangent also you have to think about your major where you're headed where you want to end up where do you see yourself and it's like spring semester of my freshman year, I just started thinking more and more about where I'm headed and if this makes me happy. And it's crazy because I spent all four years of my life in high school prepping myself for aerospace engineering because I felt I wanted to be an aerospace engineer. And I'm great, which is really young to, 
to know what you want to do. And that's the thing, when you're in high school, they don't really teach you to explore the possibilities. It's either you know what you want to do or you don't know what you want to do, but either way, you got you to gotta keep it pushing. But college has this thing where you can still explore. You can go into college as undecided and you can explore. You have time to figure out what you want so you don't waste money, but they don't teach you that type of stuff. So honestly, I went online and I started doing like, um, quizzes and stuff like oh what what field is right for you what major is right for you I did like 10,000 of them uh just to get like an overall basis and analyst um and engineering did come out once or twice but also one repeated thing it was saying like economics like I said money it kept saying money because I freaking love money but also the most repeated one above economics was marketing and here's the thing i didn't know what marketing was i didn't know what what it meant to do marketing like when i tell you marketing kept popping up i'm like i don't even know what that job field entails but here's the tip i went on google and i typed in what major pays well and does not require calculus <laughs> like I literally Googled that because I was like, I need to go in a major that does not require calculus that I like. And you know what the number one major was? Marketing. That's the T, folks. And then when I read that marketing is just like helping brands, helping represent brands, doing marketing campaigns and doing like ads, running social media, this, this, and that. I'm like that's what I do like that's what I do now like I do that on my free time I'm like I just fucking built a YouTube channel on my own off of nothing and I just marketed myself well every job I ever got was because of how I marketed myself and I was just like everything is lining up everything is making sense and it's just like marketing is for me like so because like realizing that and like re realizing that I actually would love to do that and how fun that sounded how how good it like made me feel I didn't want to just dive into it. So I told my mom about it, like that I'm leaning towards marketing, but I didn't want to make that decision right away. So I had to even take more time to just let it sink in and really think about the possibilities, think about switching majors, cause that's a big deal. But I want to tell y'all, it is okay to switch majors. On average, a college student changes their major three times before choosing the right major. So it's just like, it is okay to not know where you want to go, not know where you're headed. But I'm just saying, do it as soon as possible because it's better for me to realize that I want to be a marketing student my freshman year than realize my senior year because those are com two completely different categories. Going from engineering like a quote unquote science student to being a business student, which is marketing. But jumping to a completely different field is a lot. So to me, it was a big deal to do that, to ditch engineering. I ended up dropping all my courses for the most part and like I had to take summer classes and everything like hit me like a bus. And so it was just like this past year, like it was just so intense and like trying to figure out where I'm headed, trying to figure out career goals, trying to figure out where I see myself now. And then it's like, I like, I like planning. I love organizing. I like having all that figured out for the first time in my life. I didn't know where I saw myself in a year, two years five years I didn't know I wouldn't say I was in like a dark place but I was in a challenging place in my life so I really just needed that break from YouTube because believe it or not I tried to like I even tried to make a YouTube video here and there and I just wasn't myself because I didn't know who I was anymore like you feel me and it was <sighs> personal growth needed to happen and it just took time for me to find myself, figure out where I'm headed, where I'm going, where I want to be. After nine months of like thinking about life, figuring out life, I finally just started feeling like myself. I switched majors, I got on the right track, I got goals set in tag, I know where I want to go, I know where I want to be. Everything was figured out with school, everything just started working itself out, and it's just like, where, wherever you're at in life, don't let it, define you know that things will work themselves out if you if you're being positive if you have hope if you if you're trying because no matter what i never gave up 
even with doing with engineering, I was like, and that was like my first time quote unquote giving up. But that's the thing, it's like realizing this wasn't for me, it's not just saying like, fuck it, I quit. It's like, okay, this path isn't for me, so where do I go from here? Even then when I switch, I'm just like, oh, it'll work. I didn't like to say fuck it, like just go with the flow. I still made sure I set goals intact to make sure I'm still achieving stuff. I'm still doing stuff. Even when life gets rough, even when you don't know where you're headed or even what the fuck you are doing, keep going. Don't put life on pause because time will never stop for you. So you just saying fuck it and just like doing nothing is the worst you could possibly do. Reevaluate your goals and what you wanna achieve and what's possible. I, I always set these super high standards for myself and a lot of the times I fall short. Like sometimes I don't realize I did better than most people because I'm like, I still didn't meet the goal that I set for myself. But whole time, like I still did good. I still did great. But do I give myself enough credit? No. And it sucks because sometimes you're your worst critic. I just want to say like, have faith, try, do your best. Just do your fucking best. Be the best you that you can be and that's good enough. At the end of the day, keep going. Keep going, do not give up. You are amazing, you're beautiful. You have so much to achieve in life. So don't let now define who you are or make you give up on what you could be. I wanna see everyone do great. I, I know we all have so much potential in life and honestly, keep it pushing. The only person that can stop you is you, no matter what. On that note, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hearing me rant for a little bit. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned. I will see you next week. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, tweet about it, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, you know, the whole shebang. All of that can be found in the description below. And simply, thanks for tuning in. Stay woke and I'll see you next week.